Hey, it's Eric here with Cat Avenue. Thanks for stopping by. Below you'll find a textual description of what I'm doing in this video. I'm going to show you here is how to restore the ribbons and the toolbars and even the status bar down here, uh, which I've turned off. In some situations, you might lose these settings. The good news is everything can be done at the command line to bring these back. So it's super straightforward. I should mention that I'm working in a AutoCAD like program, but you won't be able to tell the difference. Everything is in place just the way AutoCAD is. And you should check it out if you're an AutoCAD user and you're a little tired of paying your monthly or yearly subscriptions because AviCAD is a whole lot cheaper and it does essentially the same thing. Well, let's get into it. If you're missing a ribbon and you want the ribbon back, you can just type in ribbon. It's right here. I'm using the uh, dynamic input or the tool tip. I'm a big fan of this. It really will speed things up uh, once you learn how to use it. But anyways, we got the ribbon command here and that just simply turns on the ribbon. And, and then we also have the ribbon close. So that's available as well if you want to turn that off. Now you'll notice up here, you've got a menu bar and sometimes this menu bar does not show. And the menu bar is the file, edit, view, insert, and so forth. So there's a command for this as well, and it's called menu bar. And you can either turn it off by typing zero, or you can just type one to turn it back on again. That's going to bring back this piece here. And we got the status bar here missing as well. So let's go ahead and you guessed it, just type in status and there it is status bar. And we can just set this to one as well to bring that back. And that's going to give us all these little icons down here. Now you also notice that in AutoCAD is the same. You're going to have this gear icon down the status bar. And by clicking on this, you can restore your workspace. So if you have a, a saved workspace or some default workspaces, you can select them here. Let me show you a little bit about toolbars. So we type in toolbar, select the menu group here. We can turn off or on certain toolbars. So let's just go ahead and turn on the modeling toolbar here. So that's going to give us our typical modeling tools here. And we can just simply drag these around as needed and place them on the left side bar or right side bar. Now, if we left click on this toolbar here, we can also get to the show toolbar menu. And from here, we can just simply turn off and on toolbars this way as well. So again, that's just right clicking on any existing toolbar, going down to show toolbar and then kind of working your way over to where you need to go. Let me show you a couple of really useful tips and then you can get back to your drawings. So let's go ahead and turn on the ribbon again. Remember that's the ribbon command. If you right click on the ribbon area, just a simple right click and AutoCAD you'll have a little pull down box and then an arrow where you select this. So you just select minimize ribbon. From here, you'll see your tabs that open up your ribbon. So if I wanted to, let's say, choose the MetQ tools, which you probably have never seen before if you're an AutoCAD user, but these are tools that are available for both AutoCAD and are included in AviCAD and they're engineering tools. So another really nice advantage to checking out AviCAD. So we can click on these tabs as we need, but then when we click out of it, it actually minimizes that ribbon. So it's not like you're turning the ribbon off. You're just minimizing it as you need it. And it works pretty nicely. Up here, you'll find what's called the quick access toolbar. And in AutoCAD as well, there'll be like a little arrow here. This is where you can turn off and on these shortcut icons here. Uh, so it's just a matter of deselecting the ones you don't want. You'll notice here I have layer control toggled on. Now by default, you might not see this. And this is 
really nice to have because it allows you to have full access to all the layers in your drawing. Right now, I only have the zero layer, but as you just toggle this on, this will populate down, uh, showing you all your layers and their settings. It's a lot faster than going into the layer dialog every time you move an object or freeze an object, do all those layer management functions. So hope this video has been helpful. Again, below this video, feel free to check out IvyCAD or you can call me and I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. I have a CAD course available as well. So if you're just starting out in CAD, ask me about that as well. I also have a YouTube channel. It's youtube.com forward slash CAD Avenue. And you can see all my videos there as well. Hopefully we'll talk to you later. Bye.